Translation begins when the mRNA enters the cytoplasm and a small ribosomal subunit attaches itself to the end of the mRNA strand. At the same time, a transfer RNA, tRNA molecule recognizes and binds to the start codon on the mRNA strand. tRNA recognizes the mRNA codon through its anticodon, which has a sequence complementary to the mRNA codon. It is the tRNA molecules that carry the amino acid building blocks of the protein. Next, a large ribosomal subunit joins and forms the fully functional ribosome that will join the amino acids on the tRNAs to synthesize the protein. When the amino acids of the two tRNA molecules are joined, the tRNA in the first position is released to get a new amino acid. The growing protein is attached to the tRNA in the second position. The mRNA is then pulled through the ribosome so that the tRNA with the protein chain is now in the first position. Now a new tRNA with the proper anticodon can come into the ribosome at the open position. This pattern continues as tRNA after tRNA bind to the mRNA codons and their amino acids are added to the growing protein chain. Toward the end of the mRNA sequence, the ribosome gets to a stop codon which does not code for any amino acid. This signals the end of the protein and that the translation process is complete. The ribosome then releases the finished protein from the tRNA and detaches from the mRNA as the two ribosomal subunits separate. The protein will then be further modified in other cellular structures or directly used by the body.